Allegiant Stadium in Las Vegas, Nevada. It's week 15 of the NFL on EA Sports. Vegas Raiders versus Teddy Bridgewater and the Los Angeles Chargers. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to Las Vegas, Nevada. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Los Angeles Chargers and the Las Vegas Raiders. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, we look at the Raiders here entering play. They come in off a loss last time out, but they've been playing. And off we go from Las Vegas. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. So here's the Charger offense making their way out. And it is Teddy Bridgewater leading the way in his seventh season out of Louisville. And what I enjoyed watching this week when we had a chance to watch them at practice, the easy camaraderie that he has with his offense. A lot of respect. A lot of respect, and frankly, I thought it spilled over to the defense. All the defensive guys were coming over and teasing and joking with him. You can tell they respect the heck out of him and really want to play well for him. It'll go as a loss of three right away, and it's second down. Oh, that's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that, got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. Out of the gun, Bridgewater. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Bridgewater's pass. The reception good for seven. It's third down. Charles, Thursday night game, I think a lot of teams probably say shrink the playbook somewhat. Is that correct? I think you're right about that because you just don't have the amount of time that you have in a normal week to put in a full playbook. So as you said, you shrink the playbook, pick out the plays that work best for you. You know what else you're looking for? What's that? Who are the freshest guys coming off the last game to play on a Thursday night? Guys have a little extra pep in their step. You go to them early in offense. Completely. It goes as a gain of nine, and it moves the chains. Nine yards. I'm not sure that that was necessarily a safety valve or a check down throw on third down. Sometimes you just try and find the open guy and get him the ball. He did exactly that and found a way to pick up a first down. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. From the shotgun, it's Bridgewater. He's going to let one go deep, and that's caught inside the 30. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. A big pickup of 38. We expected this defense to be tested by this passing game coming into this one. And there's an example on this first possession of the game. So here's a first and 10 now in Raider territory at the 25-yard line. They'll throw again. Bridgewater. It gets it over the middle to Khan. Bridgewater. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Brings up second and two at the Raiders' 17-yard line. Five. Still second down. 
So the delay of game penalty backs him up. It's now second and seven. And again, it's Bridgewater. Quick hitter here, it's complete. Bridgewater is and he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. It's a gain of six. And it's third. On third and one, here's Bridgewater. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield, and this might be a roughing call. Secondary, that one wasn't successful, but don't expect them to back away from attacking all game long. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. Can this defense get the stop on the opening drive? Here's third and goal. It's been a good opening drive offensively thus far, but you know they don't want to waste it and settle for a field goal attempt after that incompletion. So this is a big play coming up here on third down. The Raider defense strong on that one in coverage, and now it's fourth. They really had a good drive going there, but a nice recovery by the defense. He's passed few downs, able to knock that one away on third down and bring up what I think for the offense, an unexpected fourth down here. Well, after marching down the field, only getting three there, kind of feels like a win for the defense. And it does. They'll go to the sideline feeling a lot better that they didn't give up a touchdown after the march against them. But if I were the offense, I wouldn't hang my head over that one. That's a good drive, and three points were put on the board. So now it's the Raiders' turn to go on offense for the first time. They are led out by their 27-year-old quarterback, a two-time Pro Bowler. It's Dak Prescott. Okay, I thought there was something to build on in last week's game by his performance. I thought he played fairly well overall. The numbers won't knock your socks off. Two touchdown passes and an interception. The bottom line, though, they lost. Yeah. How does he eliminate that one interception, continue to take care of the ball, and maybe increase the number of times he puts the ball in the end zone with a receiver? The drive starts with a completion, left side. And he's free going down the left side. It's a four ways. And he will score. Touchdown, Las Vegas. DK Metcalf with touchdown number eight on the year. And the Raiders have taken the lead. And nothing too crazy there. A quick slant, and then he just had a seat. He found a seat. And when you hit it on the run like that, and I mean the pass right to the receiver who's already in motion and moving, sometimes he just takes it and runs away from everyone else. And he ran it into the end zone. And the defense, they've got to adjust there quickly. That's tough on them. That's really tough because everything was executed well. Balls out of his hands quickly, into the hands of the receiver, and then he was gone. Extra point good by Gaskowski, and that makes it a 7-3 lead. Gaskowski now, after the touchdown, he'll send this one away. And no return forthcoming for Richard as this will come out to the 25. Heading back out, the Chargers offense. We get a peek at the playoff picture of the AFC. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize, like going to the county fair. You don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. The rushing numbers for Burkhead last week. 13 carries, 53 yards. And now that he's playing a Thursday night game short week, you know he spent a lot of time in the trainer's room in the cold tub trying to get his legs back for this game. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. more on the tackle. A three-yard pickup. They'll run with a former member of the Crimson Tide, Damian Harris. Damian Harris, the ball carrier. Tackle made at the 38. On third down, that's a good job of situational football and understanding where the first down marker was and getting there.
So here's a first and 10 at the 38. They'll try to throw here now. Bridgewater. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Incomplete. It's second down and 10. Throwing again, Bridgewater on second and 10. And his throw is going to be incomplete. And a lot of times it's that first read that you had. Maybe you get it in pre-snap. He locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and 10. From the gun, Bridgewater. He's going to sling this deep downfield, and it's knocked away and incomplete. Man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone, and there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. It'll be a 39 yard punt, no return, and the Raiders will take over now, first and 10. 18 yard line. The Raider offense heading out as we take a look at the playoff race in the AFC. And last time, the formula was pretty simple. One play drive, long pass. That Maybe they just want to do that again, right? And that's exactly how you want to draw things up, whether it's on your grease board, right, in your playbook. One play drive is exactly what you want on offense. But they have to be careful of is not having a letdown. It was real easy last time. They can't expect that going forward. Yeah, we'll see if it's that easy here. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that feeling like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. On second and seven, Prescott. Now he's forced out left. This will fortunately wind up out of bounds. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. I don't know about you, but I could hear and feel the sigh of relief all the way up here in our booth. That was palpable. The sideline, the friend there. No doubt about it. Ball goes over the sideline, able to retain possession, no turnover. <laughs> I know his coaches are screaming, just hang on to the ball, man. On first down, Carson sheds him off at the 45. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. A big hitter there, a first down gain of 26 yards. But when you're able to break a run against a cover two or a two deep zone, safeties are back a little ways. What you're counting on is the guy's taking care of business up front and then maybe climbing to the second level, that offensive lineman or tight end getting up to the second level and able to block the safety in order to create a big run. Now making those linemen work with a couple blocks. They look good doing it there. First down, Prescott. They'll find Metcalf. And he's taken down inside the 30. 12 more yards there and another first down. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play Never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. They'll wind up losing three yards here. And it'll bring up a second and 13. And that's exactly what you're looking for at the inside linebacker spot. Versatility. He can drop into coverage, or as he did on that last play, Use the speed to get to the perimeter and knock the ball carrier for a loss. After one, seven, three, the score on EA Sports. Chargers three. Now on second and 13, Prescott. They'll complete this to Ingram as tight end. Prescott's pass. That catch good for five. It's third down. That's a gain of five. Brings up third and eight. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. 
And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free. And it brings up fourth down. Nice play there to force the incompletion. And to me, one thing's for sure. When you're the underdogs and you're playing on the road, you absolutely have to get takeaways. You've got to get the ball from them. Yeah, win that turnover battle going to be key. They didn't get one there, but you get the feeling they keep making plays like that. They might just get a few. Yeah, once you get one, Steven defensive Johnson teams think the they come in bunches. A 43-yard attempt. And the 14-year trusty veteran able to knock it through. And they push the lead up to a touchdown now at 10-3. Chargers three. Chalk that down as an eight-play drive capped with a field goal. Yeah, as a friend of mine used to say, they were moving and grooving for a while, but they couldn't keep the momentum going enough to get a touchdown out of it. And no return forthcoming for Richard as this will come out to the 25. L.A. readies for its next possession. Just a lone field goal for them so far, trailing 10-3 as they come up first and 10. throw Bridgewater man open is Keelan Cole complete and they're able to get this one across the 35 solid way to start the drive 13 yards picking up the first so here's a first and 10 at the 38 out of the shotgun to give to Burkhead and he'll muscle his way up to the 43 for a pickup of right around five Burkhead, the ball carrier Brandon five yards on that run let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're back you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit hard to move those 300 plus pounders at the line of scrimmage and they did for a significant chunk of yardage play action now Bridgewater and down he goes. Demario Davis coming in for the sack that time. Man, he got in there so quickly, Charles. What could the offense have done to adjust and account for that? But what you're hoping is that you figure out, you see, and get a clue that maybe there's going to be some pressure coming at you, and you change the blocking schemes. Maybe you go to max protection. The biggest one is maybe you bring your running back in to try and keep you clean. But in that case, that didn't happen. Zero accountability, and a sack resulted. Third and long now after the sack. And we'll see if Bridgewater has a response. Here's Bridgewater. And it's caught by Parker. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. Nice third down conversion and even 20 yards. And he's top five in the league in terms of receiving yardage because of plays like that. What have you seen from him on film that you like so much? Well, I'll strip away everything else and get to what we call the moment of truth. When the ball's arriving and there's a defender there, he just comes down with the ball. He competes and takes it away. Great hands, great ability to finish the catch. A give to Burkhead on first down. And he takes it down to the 40 with a pickup of four. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Four yards on the pickup. Second and six at the 40-yard. Bridgewater to throw it. It's caught at the 10. And he is out of bounds right around the 10-yard line. A nice job there, Charles. They picked up the blitz, were able to complete the pass. That had the total feel of a quarterback in control. Red blitz, got him into the right protection scheme, so he doesn't get hit back there. He's got a chance to step up with supreme confidence and deliver it downfield for a nice completion. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Set him back five yards. Still first down. The delay of game backs him up five, first and 15. Bridgewater. That's complete to his running back, Burkhead. And on this 
this one he'll get to the 15 right at the 15 yard line not much there only a yard all defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people but they were right there waiting and they stopped him for a minimal gain to throw again on second down bridgewater and he'll be hit as he releases it and that'll fall incomplete Ninth play of the drive coming up, and certainly not an easy one on third and long. Well, we always talk about how you've got to be quick when you go through your progressions, and here's another prime example. Trying to look downfield, he's standing in the pocket, but just couldn't find anyone open, could he? No, not enough time. They hit him and forced that incompletion. And his kick is good. And that'll bring him back within four. The score, Raiders 10, Chargers 6. No problems in the field goal department so far. He's two for two. Pretty reliable here in this game, isn't he? And to me, that bodes well for them. If they need him late in the game, his confidence should be sky high. And they'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Raiders take over first and 10 at their own 26-yard line. The Vegas offense ready for their next possession. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Run what you do best. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdowns. Second and two at the 34-yard line. On second down now, it's Carson. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. And he'll take this up over the 40 to about the 41. Take him down. At the Corey Peters there to bring him down. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Coming up at the half, a reminder, we go back to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman. He'll have a look back at our first half as well as a look ahead to what's coming up later this weekend. And the Chargers rush is going to get there. Down he goes. Corey Peters slipping in and getting the sack. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. On play action, Prescott. And it's going to be incomplete. He was able to catch it there on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. And it's going to bring up fourth down. That could be the stop this defense needed to get them back on track. They've been pretty well dissected by the offense here in the first half. After that possession, now they know that they can compete with this offense. That'll go as a punt of 34 yards that time. And it'll be Charger football here as they take over. Getting set to go again as we look at the back, heading onto the field again. He's just been looking for some space. You know, I'm not going to pin it on him or the offensive line, but they need to get this run game going better. Sometimes you just have to credit the defense. They came in with a plan themselves. So I think now you try to mix things up a little bit. Get the ball in the hands of some other people. Find some other playmakers. But always let the defense believe that he's still a threat. I was going to say, don't forget about him. No, don't take him totally out of the game. He'll wind up getting nine after tucking it and running, so it'll leave him with second and a yard. <laughs> Throwing again on second down. Bridgewater throwing the out route incomplete. It's Cobb. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. And now for him on the season, that is his 80th catch, and the result is a first down. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. Now a timeout called for by the offense as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. And he's got his man out of the back. 
backfield. That's complete. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Los Angeles. But they certainly made a point of getting him involved in the passing game here in the first half. They must have seen something in the scouting that said, hey, we can capitalize on him getting the ball possibly in the open field. And I think in the second half, that may loosen up the defense a little bit to get the running game going back inside. Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. From the red zone now, Bridgewater. And a quick throw here, that's complete. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. It's a gain of five. Brings up second down. Bridgewater again. The Raiders, Clock left side by Cobb. For the completion percentage, but no gain. It'll be third down. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. A third field goal in the first half, not what they're looking for as they come up on third down. On play action, it's Bridgewater. The Raider defense strong on that one in coverage, and now it's fourth. So they won't get a touchdown, but here's a chance to at least get three to end the first half. And his kick is indeed good. The kick. And that gets him back within a single point. It's now 10 to 9. Chargers 10. Chargers 9. So, yes, they'll still be down going into intermission, but the deficit is now made even smaller, very manageable. Yeah, and if nothing haywire happens here in his last couple of precious seconds, they will go into the locker room with nice bounce in their step, having gotten a little bit closer on the scoreboard. So a very tight first half. We had to break in a one-point game. As we send you to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Man, where has the season gone? We're into week 15 now. So let's give everybody a look at what's coming up here on what should be a very interesting weekend of football. Some great games still to come. And I think we highlighted one of the better ones right there as they get set to match up with the Buffalo Bills. Then more good stuff to follow later in the afternoon. One good one being under the dome in New Orleans, where it'll be the Saints taking on the Kansas City Chiefs. And lastly, on Sunday Night Football, this will be one to tune in for as they've got a good one lined up between the San Francisco 49ers and the Dallas Cowboys. Meanwhile, in our game, it's been a defensive struggle. Which offense can break through in the second half? To find out, let's hand it over to our broadcast team of Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Raiders with the lead already, and they will get the football here as the second half is now underway. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. At their own 24 yards. Now comes the Raiders' offense. They'll go on offense first to start quarter number three. We have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives. We've hit a wall, so to speak. And have hit it hard, haven't we? Because the defenses right now, they seem to be a step ahead, don't they? Beating them to the point of attack, beating them to the punch. These offensive guys are tinkering like crazy. What's it going to take to get back on track? Yeah, both sides searching for adjustments. No gain on the play. Second and ten. They run again with Carson. Try to bounce it outside, but he's only able to get it back to the line of scrimmage. On the carry. No gain on the play there, so that doesn't help. Now they're looking up at a third and nine situation. Brings up third down and nine. Kadil Hodge has it complete. And he's got this almost to the 40 before going out. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now Prescott. And nowhere to fit that football in. It's 
knocked away and incomplete. He was trying to get it to A.J. Brown that time. And that'll bring up second down. Receiver coaches preach to their guys all the time. Separation, that's what's going to make the play successful. That time there was very little, and I think they were actually fortunate that it was only knocked away and not intercepted. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. a third and nine after the delay of game. And again, it's Prescott. And Ty Montgomery has it complete. Prescott. And he gets this only to the 44-yard line. Not near enough to keep the drive alive. Five yards, not enough. And it'll be fourth down. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. Here's Logan Cook now as he'll kick it away for the second time. And good hustle here as this is going to be blown dead right at the nine-yard line. And for an offense that is struggling, this is not where you want to start from. Great punt. Fantastic punt. And for all those who wonder, what do punters do during the course of practice each and every day? The best ones do what we just saw there. Work on positioning the football and helping their team. First down, Bridgewater. Got an open man, Keelan Cole. And able to get it across the 20 before they get to him. First play of the drive going for 14 and also going for a first down. Now movement up front. I think they're going to get one of the Charger linemen. A full start backs him up five. First and 15. They'll run now with Burkhead. Fighting room at the 30. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. All told, it's an even 30 and a first down. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. Oh, they go with a tight end carry. And this will be taken across midfield and into Raider territory. The tackle made by K.J. Wright. A gain of four. It's now second and six. From just shy of midfield, Bridgewater. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. He was covered by Malcolm Butler. On third down, Bridgewater. And that is incomplete. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. Here's Jordan Berry now as he's on to punt for L.A. And this one sails out of bounds. I think it'll be inside the 25. It will. 24-yard line is where they'll spot it. and keep going. Now it's first and 10 after a costly penalty there on fourth down. They go play action. Bridgewater. Escaping the pressure. And he will not make it back to the line of 
of scrimmage as he's going to be taken down. Well, they go play fake. The problem is nobody was faked out. <laughs> and when no one's faked out, what's the end result? Quarterback gets hit. <laughs> Sack cost him only a yard. It's second and 11. They'll run. This is Burkhead. And nothing doing here is this time the run maybe gets him back to the line of scrimmage, but that's it. No gain that time, and it leaves him with third and 11 coming up. We talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. Now Burkhead. And he'll be pulled down, and now a late flag will come with it. And that's in the area of a face mask, I think. always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. So now after the face mask penalty, here's first and goal. This is Harris. And that'll get him halfway there as he takes it from the six to the three-yard line. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. A gain of three. Brings up second. They'll try to run with Harris. And he fights his way in for a Charger touchdown. Damian Harris, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Chargers are going to retake the lead. And that touchdown ends a streak, for lack of a better word, of three field goals that they put on the board previously. They finally cracked the code. Yeah, they've been down there. They've been in enemy territory, as you said. They just haven't been able to punch it in until that point. Empty the backfield here as they elect to go for two. From the shotgun, it's Bridgewater. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. I don't know about you, but I can't wait for a few years of two-point tries and see what the data tells us because a lot of teams want to throw the ball in this situation, this time unsuccessfully. I just wonder if maybe running the ball might be the way to go. With it moved up from the three to the two, you would think maybe a few more attempts at running. I think stats over time may bear out that running the ball will at least be the equal of throwing in that situation. At their own 25-yard line. Now the Raiders offense, they get set to head back on the field. The last couple of drives have ended in punts. Maybe the crowd minds that, but you're a defensive guy. You're okay with a couple of punt drives. Listen, I'm the guy that loves a 0-0 pitch game all right? in baseball. I can handle that going into the seventh inning. I think the crowd, though, they want to see a little bit more excitement. Let's see if someone can break something free on offense and get going. Offense at a premium the last two drives. Call that a gain of five as the clock ticks inside of two minutes to go now in the third. At the 30-yard line. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Out of the gun. Here's Prescott. And he finds Montgomery complete. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. First and 10 at the 38-yard line. yards on this series after the delay of game first and 15 now it's Carson and able to use his blockers to get this up over the 40 
He wipes out the penalty yardage with a good run to get it back to second and seven. Brings up second and seven at the 41-yard line. One quarter remains here in this Thursday night matchup. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Raiders 10. From the 41, Prescott. And a tussle for it, and this is going to be caught. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 41-yard line. He goes for 18 there as the drive will continue. One-yard line. So the ball moves from their own 41 to the other 41 here for first and 10. Prescott from the gun. Eluding the pressure right. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. He'll get five out of the scramble, hit second down. It's a gain of five. Brings up second and five. Here's Prescott. He's going to dump that off to his running back, Montgomery. And he'll go down at the 28. That one, a first down pickup of eight. First and 10 at the 28-yard line. Prescott now. He's so caught right around the six. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown, and that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. Here's Carson. And he's in! Touchdown! Chris Carson, his ninth touchdown of the season, and the Raiders have retaken the lead. People always talk about one of his biggest strengths running the football, vision, and he found the spot there, went into the end zone. You're exactly right about that. It wasn't just the vision, right? Once he saw the gap, decisiveness, made up his mind, and about the power to finish the play. Not only did he get good blocking, he created his own space as well. will face an important two-point conversion attempt here. Looking to throw. Prescott. And no, incomplete. They can't convert. So they try to bump the lead up to a field goal. Instead, it stays at one here in the fourth. Well, that decision to me was all about pulling up the chart. You know, that, that beautiful chart that tells you when to go for two, when love to go that for chart. one. I do love it. It helps you with your decision-making during heated times. And just look at it right here in this part, point of the game. Go for two. Try to make it a field goal difference. But now just up one makes the rest of this fourth quarter a little more interesting. Yeah, they followed the chart. They just didn't get the two points on the board, did they? Nope. On the return, the Chargers take over first and ten at their own 24. And as this offense makes their way back out, it's AFC playoff race time as we give you a look. Teams working on short rest, but this has been one of the better Thursday night games we've seen as they come up here on first and ten. Out of the gun, Bridgewater. And his throw here is incomplete. Rex Burkhead, the intended receiver there. And it's second down. Brings up second and ten at the 24-yard line. From the gun, Bridgewater. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Demario Davis. And he takes this one back into the end zone, and the Raider defense delivers a score. So a 
dangerous pass over the middle into zone coverage, and it bit him hard. And what's really difficult when you throw it in that direction and versus that zone, that means the linebackers have gotten to their spot, gotten their heads back around, and they can see the quarterback and everything in front of them. And they took big advantage of it, went in the other direction, excellent blocking, and picked up a touchdown. And with that, the lead is up to eight. A heck of a play there defensively, giving the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Chargers take over first and 10 at their own 20. LA set to take over again on offense. And can they regroup? That's the question. The pick six hurt, no doubt, but this is still a one score game here in the fourth. Back to it after the pick six. Bridgewater. The throw taken in by Cole. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. Great way to start the drive. 20 big ones in a first down. First play of the drive in their hip pocket. Of course, the focus here has to be the touchdown of the two-point conversion. Field goals aren't going to help you. Yeah, but how about that first play of the drive? Just to get them started, nice gain, get some positive momentum going. They're on their way, and they don't have to rush. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Throwing, Bridgewater. And, and inside the 45. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. And that's a much needed first down right there. Look, they're down by eight. So logic says they don't have to get a touchdown out of this drive. But the way things are going, I don't know if I'd put it in the hands of my defense here. You might not get the ball back at all. So if a fourth down situation comes up, I'm thinking hard about going for it right here and right now. Throwing middle, and it's complete. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. First down, Chargers. And again, it's Bridgewater. On the crossing route, complete. That's Cobb. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. Yard pickup brings up second and three. After looking to throw again on second down, Bridgewater. He's a little trigger happy right there, and it turned into an ill-advised throw into their zone. Well, we know he has confidence. He'll throw at any place, any time, anywhere. That time it fell incomplete. Yards to go. Third and short yardage, Bridgewater. Yeah, they would have got the conversion if he could hold on. Instead, the drop means it'll be fourth down. Incomplete. It's now fourth down. Now well, Bridgewater on fourth down. And that is incomplete. The fourth down play doesn't work for the Chargers. And the Raider D, they get the football back. So a tough pill to swallow there. A would-be touchdown pass in and out of his hands on fourth. Sometimes it just comes down to execution, doesn't it? Because we're always questioning, should they go for it, should they not? Is it the right play call? Is it not? In this situation, everything was right except for the finish. You have to catch the ball and convert. They'll start out on the ground with Carson. And a nice move will yield nothing as he stopped behind the line. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. And what do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage, use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. And this one incomplete. He was looking for Evan Ingram, the tight end. Third down here. Brings up third down and Here's Prescott. 
Because you really emphasize the importance of winning the turnover battle as a visiting team, as an underdog. They haven't forced a single turnover in this game. And right now they're losing, so no turnovers might lead to no victory. A nice return there of 11 to help mitigate a good punt. And that will come the offense as they take over. Getting set to go here, Teddy Bridgewater and company marches back onto the field. In need of both the touchdown and the two-point conversion here, down eight. It's time to just separate those two in his mind. Okay, you, the two-point conversion will have to come later. I remember playing for a coach and hearing him tell our quarterback, son, there's no such thing as an eight-point play. So let's not even worry about that. Get it into the end zone. We've got the two-point play cooked up, but let's get to that when the time is right. They'll be trying to focus on the six. Oh, that was a nice job there. Quarterback and receiver reading the pressure that was brought. They both knew it was going to open up the middle of the field. Nice little shake and bake in the line of scrimmage. Got right into his route, and the quarterback hit him in stride, and he was able to run free after the catch. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. to throw Bridgewater and a grab over the middle by Stocker Bridgewater. and this will leave him a yard short nice pickup of nine yards on first down brings up second and a yard at the fourth quarter down to the final two minutes and we've got a one score game so it's Charger football as we welcome you back from the two minute warning and let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. And the second down throw on target. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 12-yard line. The Chargers passing game rolling a bit here. They've got another first. That is caught at the 7-yard line. And the Chargers are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time, and a first down. And he was hit as he threw it there, and it forces it incomplete. How about the call to come with the blitz there in this situation? And some of those calls happen just because of what they do on offense. And when they send out a number of people in the pattern... And he's in for a Charger touchdown. The ball carrier. Damian Harris with his second touchdown of the game and fifth on the year. And the Chargers are within a two-point conversion of tie in this game. The touchdown is huge, but the focus now is on the two-point play. I don't want to say they have a cushion here, but if they don't get it, they still have a chance for an outside kick. They would need some big-time help, but you're right, they're immersion. And the failure to convert and tie the game, now the pressure shifts back to the defense. But I think it was the right play. I think it was the right call to try and tie the game there. Kick an extra point, you're still down one. What's the sense? I, I like what they did. So down only two now. Still a chance to finagle their way into field goal range if they can get this onside kick. And the hands team for the Raiders able to secure it. A tough one there. They certainly wanted that when they needed it, but they didn't absolutely have to get it. They still do have three timeouts. You're exactly right. They had to attempt it. But even though they didn't get it, as you noted, with three timeouts, if they can get these stops on defense, all hope is not lost. Here's Las Vegas ready to take the field. And this game not quite in hand yet. We'll likely see all three timeouts defensively and then reassess where we are. They'll run on first down. Carson. The Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Carson. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Prescott to throw. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Chargers going to use their third and final timeout as it comes with exactly a minute to go in the football game. Here's Logan Cook now. He'll boot it away from about his 35. And a nice 
special teams job here. This is going to be down inside the 10 at the 7-yard line. Seven yard. I absolutely love the flexibility of these punters. Their leg drive, able to get it way up in the air, and that allows their punt team to get down there and down it inside the 10 because they've had some time. So the Chargers now down by two, 53 ticks to go. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. Back to throw. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. After the sack on first down, Bridgewater. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. An important play right here, third and ten. And I would expect pressure here. <laughs> One score down, here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. The defense does its job. Now they're going to get the ball here in overtime with a chance to win it. Major League kudos to them because to get the ball back in this spot, everything was on them. It had to happen, and they pulled it off. They'll get it back for their offense with a chance to win. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaunt. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. Celebration time tonight on the Strip as we say so long from Las Vegas.